Hello there! So today's video is all about finding and or breeding the ultimate Pokemon for capturing other Pokemon. So stay tuned and cue the intro. So before we start, I recommend that you watch the entire video first before doing this, as there might be a few steps that you can skip depending on the situation that you are in. So let's jump into it. So there's a few Pokemon that are very useful for capturing other Pokemon. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, the best candidate is probably Galad, or Galade, or however you say that. Now there's two ways to get a Galad Galade. You either get your hands on a male Ralts, level it up until it evolves into Curlia, and then use a Dawnstone on it. Or you simply go to the wild area and capture yourself a Galad or Galade. So since I strive for perfection and want to breed the best possible Galad Galade for the job, I went with catching and then breeding a Ralts. If you don't care about the stats, simply just evolve any male Ralts or go capture yourself a Galade. Galad. Galade. If you want to do the breeding but don't know how, you can check my breeding guide. There'll be a link up uh, on the top of the screen. So for the purpose of this guide, I assume you're going to capture and then evolve the Ralts into a Galade. Galad. Capturing Ralts. First, we need to capture a Ralts. If you've already seen one, you can open your Pokedex to see it ha its habitat. It'll be in several locations in the wild area. Do keep in mind that weather is also a factor, so while you're on the Pokedex, you can hit the plus key to see the weather in different locations. So find a location where the weather matches one of the conditions for walls, and of course where walls spawns, and go there and find it. It took me quite a lot of time to find one, so patient might be key, or you might get lucky and get one quickly. It's also important to remember that you, your chosen walls need to be a male. EV training. So assuming that you're now ready with your Ralts, whether you bred it or not, the first step to do is to EV train it with vitamins. So fly to Windham Pokemon Center. So we want to train attack and speed and a little bit of hit point. So buy 26 protein, 26 carbos and 1 HP up. Then give it all the vitamins and make sure that you give it the HP up last. So the reason for this, I'm not going to go into the details, but basically it's how you use the EV points behind the scenes. And if you use the HP first, then the math wouldn't add up. If you're short on cash, you can find a link to my money making guide on the card on top of the screen. Leveling up and evolving. Now we need to level up your Pokemon. First, we want to hit at least level 20 to evolve into Curlia. Again, make sure it's a male Ralts that we have right now. Once it has evolved into Curlia, use a Dawnstone on it to evolve into Galad. To be the most efficient, we want to hit level 100. However, it's up to you how far you want to level it. The higher the level, the better the stats, obviously. I decided to use XP candies to get me there quickly. So ignore any learned moves while leveling, except for hypnosis. And if you already missed it, don't worry, we'll get it later. Getting the right moves. Now that we have our Galad, we need to give it the right moves. Here are the four moves that we need to give it. Hypnosis, False Swipe, Sunny Day, and Mean Look. So let's go through them one at a time. So Hypnosis. We will use this move to put the target Pokemon to sleep, which greatly increases our chance of capturing it. So this is the easiest move to get, as Ralts or Galad or whatever learns this from leveling up. 
And if you've missed it, you can simply go to the Move Remember a Guy in any Pokemon Center and relearn it. False Swipe. This move, it cannot knock out any opponent and it will always leave them with at least one HP left. This makes it incredible for taking down the health of Pokemon that have very low HP and faint easily. So in order to get this, you need to buy TM94 and it can be purchased at the Western Pokemon Center in Motorstoke City. Sunny Day. So this is very useful as it replaces any weather effect. So if you're trying to capture a Pokemon and there are any harmful weather effects in play like hail or sandstorm, it will hurt your target and if you have already got it down to 1 HP, it will simply faint. So you can simply pop Sunny Day to remove any of these ill effects. To get Sunny Day, you can buy it at the Western Pokemon Center in Hammerlock City as TM34. Mean Look So Mean Look ensures that the Pokemon you are trying to capture can't escape. So the downside to Mean Look is that it's an egg move and it's a bit tricky to get. Um, so you need to do a bit of work to get this. This guy won't cover what, what an egg move is, but the short version is that it's a move that a Pokemon can learn through breeding from its parents. Luckily, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, your Pokemon can also learn the egg move from another Pokemon simply by being in the daycare with the Pokemon that knows the move. There's a restriction to this though, because the Pokemon that, you, that your Pokemon is learning from needs to be the exact same species. That means that if you already have a Galad or a Galade, you can't put it together with a Ralts that knows the move. Yet Ralts would also need to be a Galad, if that makes sense. So if you're like me and ended up evolving and leveling your Galad or Galade without this move, then at least I'll show you now how to still get the egg move onto your Pokemon. Alternatively, if you're going with the breeding strategy, make sure you breed a Ralts that knows this move. So if you're doing this with a Ralts, follow these steps before evolving into Galad. Otherwise, if you went with capturing a Galad in the wild, you still need to raise another Galad with the egg move. So since I bred my Galad before doing the moves, I will transfer the egg move from and to a Galad. So how do we learn Mean Look? First, you need to get yourself a male Ghastly. Make sure it knows the move Mean Look. So Ghastly learns Mean Look at level 8, and otherwise, if you've captured any Ghastly that are higher level than that, just use the Move Remember guy on it to learn it. Also, you can use the Move Remember guy to delete all other moves except for Mean Look. And the reason for doing this is that more of the moves may be egg moves, and it's always random which egg move is transferred, and we want to make sure that we are transferring Mean Look. So now, you need to breed it with a female Ralts. And the reason for this is that the female always defines what species the Pokemon in the egg will be. So get a female Ralts, get a male Ghastly that knows Mean Look and put them together in the daycare. And you just need to get one egg and then hatch it. Also make sure that the new Ralts now knows the move Mean Look. If the Pokemon you want to use for capturing is already a Galad, you need to evolve this Galad as well. Make sure it does not forget the move Mean Look. So take the Pokemon that should learn the move to the Move Remember guy and delete a move that you don't need. For this to work, there needs to be an empty move slot on your Pokemon. Put both Pokemon into the daycare. Remember, if you have a Galad, both should be Galad, and if you have a Ralts, both should be Ralts. I know I say this a lot, but I'm just trying to stress the point. Move around for a while, like a minute or something, just keep moving. Then go back and re retrieve your Pokemon. They should now both know the move Mean Look. If you haven't done so already, now it's the time to evolve and or level your Pokemon to level 100. And that's it. Congratulations! Now you have your very own Pokemon for capturing those hard to get Pokemon. 
The next time you meet that hard to get shiny, you'll be able to keep it from running away and not, not accidentally knock it out. Anyways, that was it for this guide. So if you have any input or comments to it, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. It really helps out, I'm here to learn, and maybe someone else could learn from your experience. Also, if you're new here, do remember to hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps out, and also you'll be able to continue watching these videos that we put out. We're not only doing Pokemon on this channel, we're also doing Minecraft, and soon we'll delve a bit into Terraria as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and you'll see me in the next video. Bye.